good afternoon everybody um, today we're not at Arton's garage we're at my mate's house and what we're gonna do hopefully the camera can pick this up you see all the little chips and little little tiny pinpricks in the headlight we're gonna try and get rid of all that today Got both the headlights we're at my mate Zach's I haven't knocked on the door yet but we're about to go in now. Alright mate. How you doing? Not bad. That's squiggles. <laughs> Come in. Who is Nick next? What's coming in? Alright. I'm just gonna go to the toilet two seconds and uh we should look. I'm watching the We the Daily Ball um a Volkswagen Corrado. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, right, we have a headlight here. Right, so what we're going to do first, right, and what you do, if I do it without any water, you can see very, very slight scratches. Yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do, let's go and get some soapy water. I've already put a bit of washing up liquid in it. Yeah, but don't you like the green fairy liquid? No, I prefer the red one. <laughs> Some posh. <laughs> in the middle of my garden, they seem to like it. Okay. So. It's actually uh, venom as well, isn't it? Right, yeah. so what we're going to do, we've got very, very minute scratch. We've got, it's full of them actually. You might not be able to see them on the screen. Right. Um, but, yeah. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to get out as many as we can. So what we do, I've got an old 800. 800, and we'll use this rubbing down block. Okay. Well, it's a pad. So we need it because it's flexible. We can't use a flat one, otherwise you're going to be doing only a small part at a time. Right. So, right, what we do, dip it in the water. Right, very, water. very liquid water, yeah. Other, other washing up liquids are available. Oh yeah, yeah, we're not allowed to advertise. <laughs> right. And that is a worn out what? So this is an old 800, look, you 800. can see straight away. All right, right? and if you've got if you're deep, not, deeper dents, you, you need more harsh paper? Yeah, you could start, I always use the old ones because you get a finer grade out of them. So don't throw away the old ones, I always find them very useful. All right. Now, this does need a bit of elbow grease. If you don't use a block, what will happen is that? Yeah, what happens is you, you, you get streaks, you only use the bits of your hand that are actually um, that are making contact. So, oh. so these bits here, right. right, don't make contact with the paper, for instance. If you're doing it like this, okay, right. yeah. if it's like that, yeah. your hand is not a flat pad. That's the whole point of using this, otherwise you get streaks. So you're gonna get bits that you've done and bits that you haven't done, and it just makes life a lot harder. You can always, always use a pad, no matter what you're doing, always use a pad. But only in, on small edges and things, then you just lightly use your hand. But this is flexible, these pads are really good. Right. Thing is with these headlights sometimes you don't get them 100 percent but it does make a vast improvement it does brighten up the car i mean it's the eyes of the front of the car isn't it so yeah. the headlights make all the difference to a car and if you just have you had your car respray for example and it was full of stone chips and you don't really notice them on the headlights but when you put the car back together and with the old lights on yeah, the, the headlights stand out as worn out because uh, because the nice respray because then there's no stone chips say on the bonnet but then the headlights are covered in them now so you can see 
Boom, boom. See where you've got like a little patch there? Yeah. And it still need quite a bit. Yeah. Still need quite a bit. I actually want to get an, a new 600. I'll take an eight. Eight is good enough. But these, the reason why I use water is because it, it stops the paper from clogging up. It lubricates the paper. Right, you can actually feel feel it now biting in with a newer paper. Just concentrate on a small area at a time, like a quarter, like divide it into like quarters like that. So div just like concentrate on one piece. And it's all about just sticking with it because you can very easily get bored with this and you say oh that's good enough but the end result always depends on the preparation when it comes to bodywork no matter what you're doing on bodywork it's all down to the preparation because what happens is when it's uh, you got what you're, you're putting scratches you get you're getting a layer off it's the, it's the same applies to the paint it's the same as paint work it's exactly the same and um, What's happening is you're putting fine scratches into it and then the finer the scratches that you that you end up with then the better the shine in the end you will ha have a much better finish than what you ha had with earlier there's one particular one right there right which i can't get rid of at the moment but i'll persevere a little bit longer and see how far we can get into that but what happens is when when you fill it in with um, when you spray it with lacquer what happens is it, it does fill it in okay and it though it might still be there it won't be so apparent because what happens is you're going to spray it after you've rubbed it down flattened it all down if you get some very very minute ones which won't be too bad look here right now because i haven't done this bit i can still see all these little dots yeah i can see, right, I can see. Yeah. here there's no dots right all right but anyway i'll give it it still needs a bit more but what happens is you you fill it in with, when you spray it and then you flat down the lacquer as well so we do the same process with the lacquer on top and then you have a flat surface and that actually like fills it in okay and then it becomes clear so it won't be Right, look, I've done half of the headlight. Right. Can you see? Yeah. Right, if I move it around, this part we've done is very hazy. This part we haven't touched it yet. Yeah, and you but can see. Yeah. There's a clear difference. It's very, very cloudy there. Because the, the more, yeah, the more you work it, the more you can see what needs doing and what doesn't need doing. Yeah. So you can see some little bits there. Okay. Some bits there. Around here, we need just need a bit more, not too much. It's, uh, it's getting there, and as you can see, it's um, very, very hazy, which is down to the scratches that we've put, put we're putting into it. So the lacquer reacts just like water does. Yeah. See. Yeah. When you that, wet oh, it's it. hazy. Look, if I put water on it, it looks clearer. It basically gives it a wet look. That's what the lacquer does. Yeah. But <coughs> it's too coarse where we are now okay. to lacquer it. We need to get it a bit finer. The finer we get it, the clearer the lens we get we end up with. Oh, All the wonderful. chips are out. You might get one or two very, very you you know, you won't really see them. Because now that we've done it with eight, we're gonna go down and use an old one and go up in number. So we get a finer grade, so then it will be clearer. All oh, right, so you're going to go even finer than eight. Yeah, we're going to rub the whole thing down again. Okay. Right. Now, now that we've done it all in eight hundred. Right. Okay. We're going to we're going to choose a very old. That doesn't look too old. Let's have a look. I want a worn out like I like I'm doing this old school I do old school I don't buy 
an 800 and then go 600 and then a 1200 and things like that. So what I do, I buy my papers, I use the old ones because the old ones are very valuable. So I'll get a semi shine now with this. Right. Now, as you can see right now, it's very, very faded because of the deep scratches that we've put into it, which is what we wanted because we want to get rid of the, um, the, the little pit marks that add on the headlight. Now, we've got rid of all the pit marks. I, I can't really see any, to be honest with you. So we've really gone to town with this one. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use a 1200, okay? It's a new one, but we're gonna use it to the max. Now, this is all done, okay? For best results, ensure the can is it at room temperature before a use approximately 15 degrees to 25 degrees yeah, that's not 15 right what, what, what i normally do when i spray anything like this like this is i i dip it in put it in the hot hot water up to put about the there in hot water. okay give it a thorough shake as well uh, that brings the temperature up but what also what i do is i use the heat gun and i heat the surface that i'm spraying um because if the surface is cold, the paint's going to uh, run. Any cold surface you spray, paint paint just runs off it. That's, how, that's why the warmer you get, the better it is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mask it. We're going to buff it with a polishing machine. Uh, and it will come clear. It's going to look gorgeous. After we've done that, we'll just spray it with this. And uh, like I said, I've never used this before. But that's what we're going to do. Okay. So, do you prefer doing these on the car or off the car? Like well, this? it's it's easier to put, do it on the car because the car holds the headlight in in position. Right. But it's a lot less work if you do it off the car because you ain't got to mask anything up except for the just the back of the headlight where you just go around the lens. Um, but yeah, if you can take it off the car and clamp it like I normally do, but I haven't got the clamp here today, but there's two of us, so that's, uh, so that's a bonus. So what we're going to do now, is we're going to buff that. Okay. Right, Zach, so explain to us, what is this liquid compound now? Well, that's, that's a rubbing compound that is on body work. Okay. Okay. We're going to buff it with a machine, which has got a spongy, Spongy sponge. I would, I would just put it like that. What do you think? There's a clear difference. Yeah, these one. I mean, it, it makes this one look dirty. Yeah. That's what it does. Well, what we'll do, we'll, we'll spray it with your lacquer and hopefully it gives it a better finish. So as it is now, and we've masked it up anyway, so what we do, we just, we just uh, spray it with that stuff that you've got. What I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna put it in um, some hot water. Okay. All right. And then we'll give it a coat. And then once we've uh, give it a coat, um, We'll put it in there to dry and we'll yeah. start rubbing down this one. Okay, yeah. lovely, jubbly. That's it, so hold it there. Go all round here. About here, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So all we're trying to do is mimic uh, yeah, the, the mimic the weather uh, of Ibiza. Turn it away, turn it away. All right, switch it off now. Be it, yeah. Yep. Leave it for a while. That's that actually looks really good. It looks really shiny, doesn't it? Zach, your, your painting is prettier than your face. Don't you reckon? Yeah, definitely. Better <laughs> my anything's better than my face. <laughs> Just leave it there. 
This can cost a few quid, but it looks like it, it's all right. And I thought it might just be you know some. What? It's, it's looking even better now that it's dry. Come and see it now. <laughs> all right. Now. Don't get me so excited, man. Come and see now. Brand new now. Look. Isn't it? And the, the shame bit is the, the camera's not going to be able to pick up how, right, okay, how good it actually is. It's got the, the result we were looking for. It's got, a hun oh, that actually I think is better than... Because what's happened is, when I sprayed it, it was a bit, it had a bit of orange peel. I mean... Uh, but now it's, it's settling in. It's proper it's mirror. It's flattened itself. Oh, it's lovely, Zach. Yeah, okay. If you was a woman, I'd kiss you. Well... <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll give you that bucket of water.